Hi everyone, I'm Josh and this is Josh Wright Piano TV. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today's episode is dedicated to Steven and he wanted to know how I make my videos. This is a little bit out of the ordinary from our normal piano technique or artistic discussion, but if any of you are wondering how I make my videos or if you're interested in making your own videos, we're gonna do just a quick run through of all the gear that I use and I will link, uh, I'll provide a link in the description below to something called kit.co backslash Josh Wright Piano. Um, basically that takes you to a list of gear that I use that I'm gonna explain in this video. For these videos and the VIP Masterclass series, by the way, I have three video series, Josh Wright Piano TV, that's what you're watching right now, that's all my free YouTube stuff. Uh, the VIP Masterclass series is a weekly subscription video service, so um, members write in their requests and each week I'll upload one, sometimes two videos. Um, for each member's specific little questions on their piece. Enough of you were asking for something like that that I decided to create it, and we have a couple hundred members there now. And then the final one is Pro Practice. Pro Practice are full length tutorials based on common exercises and repertoire pieces. For the VIP Masterclass series and Josh Wright Piano TV, I just do a single camera angle. So I'm gonna cut to some pictures right now of my studio. So as you can see over to the right is the Canon camera that I use. Um, it is hooked via an auxiliary cable into something that is at the back of my piano called an Apollo Twin Duo. I also, I actually like the Zoom F6 interface better, but I travel with that one and I just keep this Apollo one sitting on my piano. And then I use this microphone, the AKG 414 uh, Mark II. If you are going to be recording any type of music, your camera matters less than your microphone. Get the best microphone you can afford. You can start with something something as simple as the Yeti, uh, the Blue Yeti stereo microphone. That is an awesome microphone for anywhere between 100 and 130 dollars. This microphone was, I think, 900 dollars. We um, used this to actually record our Christmas album. We used a pair of these, and the results are astounding. These are some of the industry best uh, microphones. Um, and so if you look at you know the best in the industry, 900 seems pretty reasonable. If you're looking like for an at-home recording setup, 900 seems outrageous. So just do what works for your own budget if you're wanting to make these uh, videos. But You'll also see, we'll cut back to that picture now, you'll also see a couple of lights. You'll see my key light, which is the huge light. Uh, looks like we're in a photography studio. That light is by Aperture, and that one gives a nice, and that huge dome on it gives a really nice soft light. Uh, it is quite astonishing to see the difference if you look at some of my old videos versus these, how much better the lighting looks. And if you're just gonna buy one light, buy that one. You'll also notice, uh, in that same picture, right above the keys, I just have a little, this is just a little $100 uh, aperture light. Again, I'll link that, all these below. Um, but, and then behind me, we'll cut to that other picture. You'll see just a little keyboard that I sometimes use for uh, when my wife and I are playing a concerto or a two piano work. And then behind that is what we call a hair light or a backlight. Um, I'm sure I'm getting all these photography terms mixed up, but basically that just lights the back of my head. So we call this, um, actually, I don't even want to get into the technical terms. Anyway, I just got my key light here and then the backlight, and then I have just that little light to light up the keys. So um, that takes care of lighting. Uh, the, the camera is really nice. Um, it's a Canon 5D Mark IV, so really expensive camera with a pretty expensive lens. It's the Canon L lens uh, F4. Um, 24 to 105 millimeter. Having said that, iPhones these days uh, and most other phones uh, are so good with video that I think you're okay just to use your phone. Just record your audio separately. It's so important to make sure you've got good audio. Obviously, I have this running into my interface and then I have an auxiliary cord uh, running into my camera and I was amazed that that actually worked. I didn't think that was gonna work because I used to record all my audio and video separately. Now I just record everything right into camera and it seems to work great. The sound is, is quite nice. However, having said that, um, don't be afraid if you don't don't have uh, a nice interface and a nice microphone and a nice camera to shy away from recording anything at all. Just throw your iPhone on a tripod. Um, you can get like a little holder. Again, that's in the kit as well. Um, just to hook onto your tripod and then just record your audio separately into your computer and you're gonna have a pretty nice uh, result. So 
That's how I record my videos. I use uh, Adobe Premiere Pro for all of my editing. For many years, I did all of my own editing, and then about a year ago, I was kind of drowning between all three uh, video series, so I hired on my brother-in-law, and in, what was it, like a week and a half, he was already faster at editing than I was, so I was like, oh, thank heavens, somebody who's really good at this um, helped helped me. So he helps me with all of uh, my video edits, and um, but he also uses Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're just doing single shot, you can do something as simple as iMovie if you're on a Mac. I'm sorry, I don't know all of the PC uh, programs. If any of you are PC users and you want to throw uh, down in the comments below what you like, I know a lot of people have said that Audacity is a really good program for recording audio. Um, throw down some suggestions in the video below for some uh, free video softwares if you wouldn't mind as well. So that's how I record my videos. Again, um, nothing too fancy. My tripod, as you saw from that picture, is probably about four or five feet away from this piano. And this has taken a long time to collect all this gear. It's not cheap. I didn't just go out and spend several thousand dollars in one day to get these. I just added one piece at a time. But I will say that the two most important pieces in your uh, kit, if you will, funny enough, if you're making videos, it's not your camera. It's your lighting and your uh, audio. If you're going to do anything with music, make sure those are good. A cell phone's camera is good enough for most applications. If you're doing a high-end budget thing, maybe you need to go get a RED camera or a um, 1DX Mark II or something like that. But the, just your iPhone and then a nice microphone and a nice light should do the trick. So I hope that helps, Stephen. If any of you have any other questions about my setup, um, I have an entire video. If you just search Josh Wright 15 Tips Skype, that video goes extensively over all the gear that I use for Skype. I'll actually link that in the description below for each of you as well. If you wanna check out that video, that goes over all the gear that I use for Skype. But again, you can get away with just your computer webcam and a Yeti stereo microphone and be ready to go for Skype lessons. It works great. So, uh, you know, create things. that I don't wanna, you know, get cheesy at the end of this video, but I just wanna say some of the greatest joy I get out of my life is making these videos. It is so much fun to share. Uh, with people, and don't be paralyzed by overanalyzing things. They, I think the saying is paralysis by analysis. Like you're thinking, oh, my lighting has to be perfect. Oh, I don't know enough about this subject to really make a good video on it. Or, I mean, if you need to do some research, do it. But don't be afraid to throw something out there that isn't absolutely perfect. Get it to 80%, 90%, and have courage and put it out there and you're going to keep improving. So if you're throwing a performance video up, you don't have to have it, you, you should probably have it memorized and pretty clean, but you don't have to have it note perfect before you ever publish anything because then you're not ever going to publish anything. Let this just be a little bit of inspiration to make something that's going to add value to other people's lives. So I hope that helps each of you. Again, if any of you have questions, my email is josh at Piano. Com. I'm going to leave a few links in the description below. I'll obviously leave that link for the 15 tips for Skype lessons. If you're looking for Skype gear, I'll leave a link to all of this gear that I use. And I will leave a couple of links to my paid courses if you want to check those out. They go a little deeper than this channel does, a little more extensive with the repertoire and exercises, as well as a free webinar containing 10 of my favorite practice tips if you're looking for a little extra inspiration in your practice sessions. Have a great week. Good luck in your practice sessions.